Richmond hardly looks like a place with much to protest about. But despite the river and the retail, people here have voted to revolt as this constituency tries to change the course of Brexit. Good morning for you, Mr. Farron. A good morning for you. All right. It's a good morning. Start of many more. Start you could forgive the Lib Dems for sounding optimistic today. They may have lost the big Brexit vote, but they've just won their own mini referendum. The people of Richmond Park yesterday voted to send a message to Theresa May that the British people did not vote for a hard Brexit that will damage our economy and future generations and our standing in the world. Sarah Olney will now carry that message to Parliament, one extra MP, to add to the party's other eight. Is the Prime Minister really going to listen to you when you've still only got nine MPs? It's about listening to the electorate. Uh, now what's happened at the moment is that the Tory party's main opposition has come for its own right flank. What the Liberal Democrats have shown is that out in the country that we have the ability to form that kind of moderate, progressive opposition. Liberal Democrats, 20,000. <laughs> Last night, the Lib Dems overturned a 23,000 majority held by this man. Zach Goldsmith quit the Tories to stand as an independent, having always promised a by-election if Heathrow Airport was expanded. It was a promise that I made and it was a promise that I kept. Tonight, that promise may well be a regret, with the by-election quickly becoming about Brexit. And while he wants to leave, she certainly doesn't. Is it your intention to try and block Brexit in Parliament? Well, I've been very clear in this campaign um, that if uh, a vote on Article 50 comes before Parliament, then I will vote against invoking it, and I've been sent back to Parliament with a very clear mandate to do just that. As much as the Lib Dems are hoping this is the start of a new pattern, in many ways the Richmond seat is a real anomaly, a wealthy constituency where many people work in the City of London, and 70% voted to remain in the EU. I think you can read nothing into a single by-election. If I've learned anything in my 20-odd years in Parliament, it's that by-elections are all very independent. What you can read into is the fact that in the referendum, 17 million people voted to leave the European Union, and that's the instruction they've given their government. But we found plenty of Richmond voters who deliberately sent a different message. It's the Remainers here having a chance to say, actually, we chose to remain, please listen to us. A lot of people like me who are traditional Conservative voters that have swung over to the Liberals just because of this one, one, one campaign. So this is the Remainers hitting back? It sure is. Well, no, I'm not sure what good it'll do. I mean, the people have spoken in the referendum. What will another protest vote do? We'll have to see whether the excitement of one by-election ends up being lost in the bigger picture. Paul Brown, News at 10, Richmond.